Hello to all the netizens, I hope you are well. Right now it is the morning of October 17th, 9.55am. I am filming a very special and happy moment that I would like to share with all of you. Today marks the 100 year anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. As a kid from a young age, my father would take us to see Disney cartoon films. Almost like we grew up with them. They brought us a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. Especially the Disney cartoons. The way they portray the various characters and animals, they brought a lot of positive energy. Because in Chinese society, we do not have a fairy tale culture. But the Western world does. We do not have a fairy tale culture, and this is rather strange. The Western world, through its fairy tale culture. The tales are edited and designed by masters, containing a variety of different characters. and expressed in the language of fairy tales from where they are placed and presented via many Disney cartoons. This provides a lot of positive inspiration for young people and children. So today marks the 100 year centenary. I actually have a relationship with Disney so I will post some information later on. It was back in 1998. Through the United States Agency for International Development, the US government invited me to visit Florida for a regional Asia-Pacific program partnering on issues to do with environmental protection and economic cooperation. The government also arranged for me to visit Disneyland over in Florida. where I was received and hosted by one of their vice presidents. For dinner, we went to the undersea restaurant at Disneyland and it was very... It cannot be described as beautiful because that would be rather crude. Because as you are eating, you are surrounded by all sorts of underwater creatures. There are whales, great white sharks, and all kinds of fish. Just swimming right in front of your eyes, it is a unique and different type of experience. So coincidentally, it just happens that today, whilst I am flying to the US later this afternoon, also happens to be their 100 year centenary anniversary. For this trip to the US, this reminded me to source some Disney products or even other meaningful characters. And once chosen, to place them in the Houston Happy Valley Garden. That garden is my own personal special project. It is over 3 million square feet in size. I bought it and have never actually seen what the land looks like. So I relied on the students based in Houston, who were both very sincere in their actions and also very welcoming. They helped me with the various works that were required. For this Happy Valley Garden then, there is a wellness center located within it where people can come in for a whole week or even just three days. We give them some methods to rejuvenate the body, mind and spirit through the various Buddhist practices. Secondly, our main purpose at the garden 
will be to breed and raise parrots, plus also peacocks that we have already bought. I did not mention this before as the work was yet to be completed. I have also given small parcels of shares for the students to subscribe to, as they were enthusiastic and a number of them have been supporting our work. So it is only now that I am officially announcing this. This is not one of those virtual currencies. It is a substantial physical operation. I have seen that within the US, the parrots are very beautiful. The peacocks are also raised well. If we can upgrade the level of the parrots using the techniques from ancient India and find a good bird doctor who is an expert in the field, Could we reteach the parrots to sing a song again? That would be even better. To buy the parrots is not cheap, some costing at least ten to twenty thousand dollars. The top grade parrots are not cheap in Hong Kong either, especially the blue parrots from the US. They are very expensive, with some regularly costing one hundred thousand dollars per parrot. We will also grow some very distinguished and precious medicinal herbs in the garden. And we intend to transplant them from Mexico. Because Mexico is a very old and experienced country. Especially in the area of herbal medicine and the relations to South American medicine, it is rather miraculous. I bless and wish upon Disney to continue providing positive energy to the younger generations and to continue developing towards even greater heights. They are a very rare case where all of their heritage audiovisual productions rarely involve religious and political connotations as in they focus on presenting the good side of human nature and to allow children to absorb. The most popular one is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Even our Hong Kong singer Jackson Kwong wrote a very nice sounding song, Snow White's Seven Buddies. Especially Garfield, McDonald's and Mickey Mouse, these are things worth remembering. So I hope that in the future, that the chance exists for the countries of the Middle East. That for each and every country, based on the scale of their respective population. That they can build a Disneyland. Because joy is to be shared throughout the world. Yes, joy is to be shared. Especially the right culture and the right knowledge. Indeed, this is also our wish in life. So I cannot believe that even today there are still works that I can help related to Disneyland. My friendship with them, one could say, is the friendship between gentlemen. Because personally, I am not one to rely on others to be successful, as things are left to their own devices and to take what comes naturally. So with Disney's 100 year anniversary having arrived, it is the moment to encourage and boost everyone since it coincides with so much instability and insecurity currently in the world. I will return back to Hong Kong in about a month or so, but will continue the regular program with Direct Alone via remote access. Thank you to all the Channel Netizens and to all my students for their support. I wish you all good health. I wish you all good health and prosperity. These are the two most important things. Good health and prosperity for all. To put it more plainly, health and wealth. For the other things in the world, they cannot be predicted, so do not be disturbed by them. Thank you everyone.